LSU is going to finish with arguably the worst record of any defending national champion in the modern era. Saturday night, they got destroyed by Alabama, 55-17. It is the most points Alabama has ever scored against LSU. Alabama had 45 points in the half. Devonta Smith, who's got some Keyshawn qualities at the wide receiver position, could have had 300 yards receiving. They called the dogs off, and you got to give a lot of credit to Alabama for calling the dogs off after the way LSU celebrated when they won at Alabama last mm-hmm. year. He was taken out with about 10 minutes to go in the third quarter. Bro could have had 300 yards receiving easily. The reason Roll I, time! <laughs> and that's what Coach O did in the locker room, and they let it play throughout the rest of the way. They had Joe Burrow, 14 guys drafted. Their passing game coordinators with the Carolina Panthers. Their defensive coordinator, Dave Aranda, highly respected as the head coach at Baylor. Ton of attrition. Doesn't matter. We still got Coach O. Coach O brought it all together. I'm not saying you're allowed to have a bad year in the SEC, but I am saying you're not allowed to have two bad years in the SEC. And the best example I can give you is the last time somebody like this was in a spot, Gus Malzahn, SEC coach with a transcendent player. SEC coach with a transcendent player. You look at what happened to Auburn after the Cam title. You have Gene Chizik as their head coach. Less than two years after Chizik is there, and he leads Auburn to the championship with Cam Newton, boom, Chizik is out. Malzahn is in. Malzahn is 3-4 and four against Alabama. He's done okay. I think most people that are 3-4 and four against Alabama, the only other guy that's got a record like that is probably Sweeney at this particular point. So word to the wise for Malzahn, he's obviously been on a hot seat the entire tenure. But when Chizik won the championship, less than two years later with Cam, he's out. He's now working with us at the SEC Network. Less than two years after winning a title, getting one over on your rival with one of the greatest players college football seen in 25 years. Fast forward, LSU, transcendent title, the most statistically accomplished quarterback in the history of the game, if that means anything to you, single season record for Burrow. They're struggling this year. It's a wash. They're done. They got housed by Mississippi State. They got embarrassed by Missouri, who made an all-time comeback. One more year like this. One more year like this. I don't care how much goodwill this guy has. One more year like this, he's going to get the Gene Chizik pick slip. This is the SEC. They finally edged in front of Alabama. Every piece of equity, every sweat equity they had to get in front of Alabama. And in one year, Alabama has beaten the brakes off of them. You got lucky once. You got a transcendent guy once. You are not as good as us. You cannot go toe-to-toe with us. I love Coach O, SC guy, been on the program. One bad year after this. If 2021 is like 2020, he's going to get Chiswick. Now, Zubin, how much do you factor into COVID? Because, I mean, they've had two games that have been postponed, never played. How much does that factor into how of an anomaly this year is? I would say that Missouri has turned out to be a very half-and-half team. They have a first-year head coach in Drinkwitz. Uh, You should never be losing to Missouri. They were up huge in the game. Missouri stormed back. Um, They should never be losing to Mississippi State. After that week one win, Mississippi State has actually turned out to be one of the worst teams in America. And here's the other thing that you fellows would imagine. If you saw the game Saturday night, Alabama was blowing by LSU players. When you were watching the game, people felt like this felt like, you know, Mike Tomlin called it the junior varsity the way the Steelers yeah. played last week. This felt like Alabama was just 10 yards in front of every LSU defender every time Mac Jones put it in the air. So I agree with you. There's some COVID here. I just think the tables have turned talent-wise so fast. And if LSU is not careful, all of the time they spend trying to catch Alabama is going to be lost instantaneously. And, and a little bit of that was personal as well. Uh, whether you believe it or not, a little bit Steve Sarkeesian, Coach O. Sark didn't bring O back. He got the job over Coach O out at USC. So, and Coach O had some words about it, you know. So, all of those sort of little subplots factored into the 55 points being hung on them. We'll see what ends up happening with LSU. Plus the locker room celebration. Yes, the locker room celebration. <laughs> we haven't bold. seen it. That was bold. It, yeah, we. We played it a lot in L.A. That was years of frustration coming out. That was, he's just a dumb Cajun coach. Yeah. All the things people were saying about him, all the disparaging things people are saying about him, I got one over on the genius on his own field. How do you like me now? Yeah, they were getting close over the last couple of years. They were getting close to beating Alabama. They got over the hump last year, went on to win a national championship, like you said, Zubin. But then this year, COVID or not, they just don't, they don't look. You know, when you when you have the players that they've had, 
in the stable over the last couple years, whether it was Devin White, the linebacker, whether it was Queen, whether it was Greedy Williams, whether it was Jamar Chase, Jefferson. I mean, I can go on and on. Joe Barrow, uh, Clyde Hilaire. I mean, we could just go on and on and on about the talent that they had stacked up behind each other. They didn't replenish that talent. When you look at Alabama, Alabama essentially is plug and play. Soon as a guy goes, get drafted in the first round, up, oh, next guy up. Ne- Najee Harris has been sitting around basically for four years on the pine, even though he's been playing, but it wasn't his show. He just was sitting around. Now it's finally his show, and they got somebody else behind him, behind him, they got somebody else, and that is how Alabama recruits. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus right now.